Welcome to Selling the DMV. I'm your host, Meredith Fogel, and today we are discovering the Kentlands. The Kentlands is known for architectural design and small town friendliness, but there's more to this neighborhood than meets the eye. Today, we are going to let you in on some of the secrets that make this neighborhood sought after and unique. Come with me to discover the Kentlands. Behind us is Kentlands Green, a wonderful place to relax, play, and gather in the community. And right across from the green is Kentlands Mansion. Kentlands Mansion wasn't always a community facility. We're about to learn a lot more about that. Marina, what can you tell us about the history of the mansion? Well, so the mansion was acquired originally in around 1853 by Frederick Shafeli, who was a pharmaceutical business owner and a farmer. And he moved here, and upon his death, his son actually tore down the majority of the building, expanded it, rebuilt it as you see it, principally now in the Georgian revival style, and he called it the Bricks. And upon his death, it was acquired by Otis Beale Kent in 1942. He envisioned this as a gentleman's estate and sanctuary. So he built a lot of gardens and uh, the ponds and the lakes and the dams and the hedgerows and uh, renamed it Kentlands. And this is not the only original structure on the property, right? No, he built a lot of the structures that you see here that have all been repurposed. So for example, there's the art barn behind the mansion, um, which is now owned by the city and a wonderful cultural venue for theaters and for um, artists to, to showcase their work. And they run summer camps. There is the original firehouse, which was a stable, uh, but it, uh, Kent used it to, um, to showcase his fire trucks. He, used to, he was a collector, an avid art collector, but he also collected fire trucks. Okay, so fast forward to the Kentlands being developed as a innovative and innovative new urbanist walkable community. Walk us through that process. There are urban standards and architectural standards, the use of natural materials is an important consideration. There are all sorts of standards that the city doesn't have the ability to administer, but um, DPZ was hired to be town architect, and we function as that town architect, and we've held that position ever since administering the code. Marina, thank you for sharing your vision and your knowledge of the Kentlands with us today. Thank you very much, Meredith. And I have to say that I want every resident of Kentlands, existing and future, to know that this community continues to impact how development happens, not only nationally, but globally. Now that we've explored the history of the Kentlands with Marina Curry, let's go take a look at the rest of this award-winning community. We are inside the Gaithersburg Arts Barn, home to the city shop with art for sale by local artists, an art gallery with beautiful pieces, home to three teaching studios and the resident artist's office. I run our local theater organization, Kentlands Community Players, and the stage I am standing on is the home to countless performances, recitals, workshops, you name it, if it's in theater, it happens here on this stage. This is Kentlands Pavilion, home to our very popular weekend farmer's market, and entrance to Kentlands Downtown. Now we are on Kentland's Main Street, which has countless shopping, dining, and entertainment options. What's great about this area is it is walkable from every residence in the Kentland. As you can see, the spirit of community is alive and well here in the Kentland. We hope you've enjoyed discovering the Kentlands with us. We'll see you next time.